My name is Janice Vickers and I've been a poultry farmer for 28 years. So my farm is right here on my home and uh, I raised my children right here and that was the main reason we started it. It's nice to look out and uh, see my poultry houses. They're, they're only 100 feet away. We purchased the farm so my wife could stay home and then daddy could stay home with her uh, and raise the kids. And uh, this is the best office <laughs> I've, I've, I've ever had. For us, this chicken farm is not only a chicken farm or a commercial operation, it's our home. And I want our home to be sustainable. I want the community I live in to be sustainable and to give the best I can to the environment. Keeping up with industry changes is a, is a very important part of a farmer's job. The poultry industry is constantly progressing and changing. We've recently taken the entire farm solar, so my farm actually generates the same amount of power that it would use in a year to help sustainability. We've gone from incandescent to fluorescent to now LED bulbs because it, it's quite an energy cutting system to do and it, the birds stay just as healthy and happy with those bulbs. Probably realized about a 25% to 30% savings in energy. And I would reckon next year we're gonna see even more of a savings. When we first started upgrading, one of the things that we decided to do first was went into all new tunnel fans and then we uh, went into putting in the cooling pads on the poultry farm and that helps to recycle water and it saves energy there. At the end of each chicken house we have a little area called a heavy use area where any type of dirt or debris can collect and then we can push it back into the chicken house and compost it. On our farm we have a buffer system in between every chicken house so any rain that comes and hits our heavy use pads or our roof, runs into that grass buffer and is absorbed by the grasses that are there or the shrubs that we have planted. And we also put a buffer beside all of our fans and those grasses help with any type of air pollutant that could come out of the chicken house. You look at the grass coming up over there. Animals have to have water to survive. Now we have nipple systems. The birds drink from the nipples by monitoring water daily. I'm proud that we do put out a healthy bird for the consumer, and at the same time, we save water. It's important for us to actually recycle the litter that's generated in, in the poultry houses. It is a natural organic fertilizer that can be used for a crop that's coming up. Typically, in this area, it's corn or soybeans. So being applied properly, you know, it's just a good use. It's a commodity that has value. And monitoring ammonia is an important part of being a, a chicken farmer so we can have healthy, happy chickens. We'll periodically check parts per million of ammonia in the house. We're cognizant of keeping the environment clean, ammonia levels low, so my family will be raised happy and healthy on the farm. It's important for us to run a farm that is sustainable because we have children that are gonna inherit this farm. And we wanna make sure that their children can have this farm in a hundred years. We don't want to pollute anything just like everybody else. I want to keep the environment clean and friendly and, and work for everybody. It's the pride of knowing that you're successful at what you're doing. That at the end of the day and at the end of the flock, you've, you've produced a healthy food product. That in itself is an accomplishment. You've helped feed the world and you've done it responsibly and sustainably. And that's a big thing.